go to the gas station. I'm gonna go to the chip aisle. Gotcha. He's right here. Next starter pack. This is what you get from the gas station. You go to the gas station. Yeah. Yeah, y'all. I am in um, right now, aka H and M, and I'm looking for something to wear to church tomorrow. It's Saturday, and I'm going to church tomorrow. And I just need more like church clothes. I have a lot of like chill clothes, not a lot of church clothes, you know. And I want to look cute going to church as well and i'm just not finding anything like before when i came in here i found like this very cute like skirt and i was kind of looking for like that type vibe oh the lighting here is so good i might have to check another store i did find this cute little like zip up jacket that i could just like lounge in um so i think i'm gonna get that but it's like not what i came in here for but you always find something that you didn't come in here for, so. This little sweater thing. It's kinda cute. Yeah, no. Wow, this is a struggle. I found like this blazer earlier, but I'm not wearing a blazer. I said that I would never buy or wear a blazer. This pink matches my nails, so that's why I'm like, mm. I kinda like it. Making me want to just say never mind to all this stuff. Y'all, and I'm mad because I didn't bring my um, tripod thing to like hold my phone, so I have to hold it with my hand. And you know how like your hand be shaking, so like I don't want it to be all shaky. So like, I don't really be recording for it. But yeah. Look at the boy! Look at the boy! He's so spoiled, y'all. Like, this is the only time he's calm. Look at that big boy. If I put him down, he's gonna go crazy. This is the only time he's calm. Hey guys, so I am back from the mall. I am about to get ready because I am going to, where am I going? I'm going to Top Golf tonight with my friends. So I'm gonna do my makeup. Um, we're just gonna do like a chit chat, get ready with me because I feel like I haven't done that type video yet. I am putting some CeraVe healing ointment on as my primer. Put some got to be on the spoolie here and I just like brushed it up how I wanted it. And then I just got done filling my eyebrows in. I got this hand cream the other day or yeah, is it? it's a hand cream, yeah. Eos, it's like a shea butter one and it smells so good y'all. Like, so good. And the, and the scent is lasting too. Like. It's like little vanity mirror in front of me. That's why I'm looking this way. But like my parents got it for me for Christmas and I love it. Right, you know, right there. And I like this one because it's very brightening and I really like a brighter look underneath my eye because my under eyes are dark. Ours creamy concealer, I believe. Radiant creamy con concealer. So yeah, I just like, I'm almost out of this one, y'all. But I just like put it around. Do y'all see my face is breaking out a little bit? Do y'all see that? And I use this lighter one also on my nose it up here that's my lid and y'all see how nicely that blended out like okay you see me but yeah y'all so really i just wanted to do this to just talk about my goals for the year really like i have a lot of things this year that i'm trying to accomplish 
and like I just really am trying to stick to it like I want to be a woman of my word like I said I was going to do all these things and I want to actually do them you know like I want to accomplish and go after everything that I said I was going after I don't want to ever grow older and then regret not doing something you know for those of y'all who don't know I'm in real estate school and I'm almost done then all that's left is for me to take the exam the state exam that is just like my dream like my goal like I've been wanting to do real estate since I was younger like a child like I was I always talked about it I used to watch like those shows like Fixer Upper and like um all these like home shows I could just see myself being that you know I'm ready to go part-time at my current job where I'm working and do real estate part-time you know like actually dabble into what I plan on doing in life once I'm licensed like I just feel like so many doors are gonna open up for me and I'm excited to be doing something that I love and then growing and excelling in it and being the best at it that I possibly can. Like another thing that I really want to, you know, do this year is just going to church more and, you know, getting my relationship back with God. That's something that I like fell away from. And I know that it's not God's will that, you know, I don't have a relationship with him. I feel like our world today is lacking that. Like they're lacking people that are really going to be a light. I read my Bible like on things that are specific to me and what I may be going through in that moment. Um, and that's really helped me too. Like it's just, it just helps me on a day to day basis. I'll wake up while I'm getting ready for work. I'll listen to like a teaching that has been helping me on a day to day basis. Like just getting my mind right. I feel like when my mind is right, then like everything else just falls in line. You know, like everything else is just, it just lines up. Lately, my mind has been right. Like I've just been at peace. I've been so happy. Um, I cut off relationships that were no longer serving me. And I have just not been dealing with anything that's been like, you know, like hindering my relationship with God or hindering like my productivity or like hindering the things that I want to accomplish. Like I've just cut off things that were hindering me prior. And I feel like everybody should do that. Like just start the year with a clean slate. I just think that was like the best thing for me to do and not worrying about other relationships with people because I just feel like God's gonna place the right people in my life. The older I get, like I'm realizing like I want intentional relationships. Like what am I your friend for? What am I dating you for? Just being intentional with every relationship, whether it be a partner, whether it be a friend. Like, it's a lot deeper for me. I'm not looking at relationships like that like I want something very intentional like we both want to get married you know like we're both moving towards that but it's just like I know that like God has a plan for my life and I just need to trust him and everybody else is gonna fall into place like I don't have to force anything what God has for me is for me and whatever friends whatever whoever my husband is like whoever God is gonna put in my life is gonna be intentional I'm no longer being available to people who just serve no purpose in my life and it is hard to get rid of like friendships and like even relationships that you may have thought that you wanted but god knows how to show you that what you wanted wasn't really what you wanted anything that god is telling you to like draw back from like you just got to take heed to it and do it okay because god loves obedience he does Yeah, my phone just cut off. Like, it stopped recording because it said it was overheating. But I'm done with my makeup. All I'm missing is my setting spray. Like, I feel like that would just make everything look so much better. But yeah, guys, I'm done with my makeup. I think I'm about to get on live for a second. Um, See what's going on on there. <laughs>
What you say? <laughs>